There it is, that's me. I need to do something, don't I? Hell yeah! If we're just meeting for the first time, I'm Johnny, and these videos are all about inspiring you to live a better life through health, wealth, well-being, and quality family time. Should I go keto, should I do 16-8, or should I do the 5-2? In this video, let's discuss all the options. But in the past, I have done the 5-2, a few times actually, but um, the last time I did it was quite effective. I've also done the keto diet in the past as well. And during those periods, I, I kept a record of my uh, weight variations. They were both quite effective for me. I must say, when I started as you can see on the graph during this 5-2 period, when I was doing this, um, I did accompany that with a pretty kind of rigid exercise plan. And that was three days a week for the, the th three months of doing the 5-2. And after that three months, where well, you can see on the graph the results, I, I did manage to, to lose quite a bit of weight. What is the 5-2? The 5-2 is a fasting process. Basically, five days of the week, you eat whatever you like normally. And for the other two days of the week, you fast. So for males, it's you limit yourself to 600 calories. And for females, you limit yourself to 500 calories. After I finished that few, few months doing the 5-2 and the exercise, I stopped going to the gym. I went back to just a normal exercise, just daily cycling for work, cycle commuting, which is not very difficult. Um, and that was probably a little running from time to time in the park, but uh, not a great deal. And so I started the, the keto diet at the same time. So what is the keto diet? Basically in short, it's, it's changing your body fuel type to fat as opposed to carbohydrates. We all consume, normally we all consume a lot of carbohydrates and your body tends to use those as fuel. Whereas the keto diet, um, by changing your diet and lowering carbohydrates as fuel, adding fats, your body then uses those fats as fuel. Now I wasn't strict with the keto diet. My version of it, I did, um, I stuck to 100 grams of carbohydrates per day. Now I know some people stick to 25 grams, which is, which is quite low. Some people do 50 grams. Um, I decided that I was, after I'd worked out the measurements of the food, and what I could eat and what I couldn't eat, I, I discovered to, to make it work, and if I was going to stick with it, I probably needed to go with around 100 grams of carbohydrates a day. If you're getting value out of this, smash that like button, and also please consider subscribing. The 16-8 is a, also a fasting process. This is different, you do this every day, and for 16 hours, you are fasting, and eight hours, you eat whatever you like. There's no calorie restrictions. So that makes up the 24 hours. So 16, you're not eating, you're fasting, and eight hours, you're eating whatever you like. In the comments below, let me know if you've tried any of these techniques and if they've worked for you, any tips or tricks you might have, um, how effective they've been for you. I'd love to, to find out more. I'm not a health professional and I'm just sharing ex my experiences with you. It's important that if you're going to start any diet or um, weight, changing process then you really should seek professional medical advice before undertaking that of course one of the real benefits of focusing on diet is that you can save a lot of time if you have family commitments or work commitments or other commitments you just don't have the time to do four hours in the gym or on the bike so dieting can be factored into your everyday life and saving you a lot of time so I'm looking forward to seeing where, where this takes me. Um, I'm gonna be posting regular videos about my journey this time on what sort of, what technique I choose to use, but the goal is to uh, lose some weight, get fit, get healthy again, and share it with you guys and maybe inspire you to do the same. And like I said, if you've got any questions or um, anything you'd like to share with me, just hit me up in the comments below. I'll see you on the next video.